Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here. If you own one of these Needle Robotics vacuum cleaner, you might run into an error message on the LCD. The message you get says, My vision is blocked, Air 3000. And here's a picture of what the air looked like. The LiDAR unit is located underneath this plastic cover. When it's working normally, if you look through this opening right here, you'll see the LiDAR unit spinning. If you see the air that says my vision is blocked 3000, most likely the motor that drives this LiDAR unit is burned out. So in this video I will show you how to take this unit apart, replace the motor and put it back together. First thing you want to do is go into the menu and scroll down to support, do a shutdown and we'll shut down the unit. Next remove the dustbin and then flip this over upside down so you can remove the two batteries. Remove the battery covers. Disconnect the connector and pull the battery out. Remove this cover by pulling on these two tabs right here. And then you can lift up the brush and remove it. If this is your first time taking apart this unit, there are two white stickers here. You need to break through the stickers and there are two Phillips screws, one over here and one over here, you need to remove. On the bottom front side, we have ten screws we need to remove around the edge. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this screw that is on the bottom right hand side where you're looking at right now is a shortest screw that's on this unit, so pay attention to that. Now this trim piece can be removed. Let me show you this screw right here at the corner. As you can see, it's very short. The rest of them are this length right here. And this short one goes at the bottom right hand corner right now, here. There are four additional screws you need to remove. And these holes right here, there's one, two, three, and four. Now remove this bottom cover. The four screws holding it down. Remove this plastic piece that has the charging contacts at the back. And you'll notice there is a tie wrap. Just lift this tie wrap up. And then disconnect this connector right here. To remove this wheel, first disconnect this connector right here. And then remove this end on the rod. Carefully pull this rod out. On the bottom edge, there's a spring. And remove this spring right here. Now the wheel assembly comes out. Remove the four Phillips screws at the back. There's one right here. Another one on this side. And two more at the back right here. You'll need to remove this plastic screen, remove this vacuum fan, disconnect this connector, remove this Phillips screw. Right here we have two medium sized screws. Go ahead and remove these. Now you can remove this top cover. And there are two wiring harnesses connected to the top cover. There's one over here, and there's another one over here. We'll disconnect the two connectors. I want to mention you should pay attention to these bumpers on the front and the side. You don't want to lose these little bumpers here, okay? So make sure you keep these in its place. This is the LiDAR unit. We need to remove this. There are four Phillips screws holding it down. Attached to this are two connectors, one over here and one over here. Lift this up and disconnect this connector and also this connector right here. You'll need to remove the pulley that's on a motor. 
Okay, screwdriver, and just slowly pry this up. And you'll see it comes out. I took apart the motor so you can see what's wrong inside. Now if you look on this side, you'll see there are no brushes left. And that's why the motor will not turn. Here's a look at the replacement motor. On the right is the new one. It has a part number RF-500TB-12560. And you can see it has the same dimension. So now we'll need to transfer the wire from the old motor to the new one over here. If you look on the old motor, you'll see one side has a circle. That is actually the positive terminal on this motor, but they've soldered the negative wire onto the positive side. We're going to go ahead and repeat the same procedure on the new motor. So go ahead and pull the heat shrink back on both wires, and then we'll take a soldering iron and remove the wire. And you'll see on the new motor, this circle actually is marked positive. We're going to go ahead and solder the black wire onto this terminal right here. Now we'll reinstall the new motor. Now we'll push this back down onto the shaft. We want to make sure the bell is seated into the groove. Spin a few times. Make sure it's smooth. Now we'll reinstall this LiDAR unit. Plug this connector in first. Place a unit on here. We have the four Phillips screws here. Connect this connector. Now we can reinstall the top cover. There are two wiring harnesses. Make sure you reconnect these. Now reinstall these two screws right here. Put the screw in. Reconnect the vacuum fan. Reinstall this plastic screen, and you'll see it's beveled. Reinstall the four Phillips screws at the back. There's one here, another one here, one more here, and the fourth one right here. To reinstall the wheel, take the spring and hook it to the wheel assembly like this. Now we'll put this rod into this hole. Carefully pull this back and feed this end in first towards the outside. Now we can push this side of the rod in, reconnect the connector,
and repeat the same procedure on the other side. Reinstall this back grill with the charging contacts on it. Now install this bottom cover. Now for this cover you need to use the four biggest screws you have. We'll need to install the four screws that's right here. There's one, two, three, and four. Now we can reinstall this trim piece. Reinstall the nine screws right here around the edge. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On this corner, it uses the smallest screw that you took out earlier. There are two more screws under the white security stickers. Now we'll reinstall the brush. Put this cover back on. Reinstall the batteries. Install the screws for the cover. Now we'll flip this back right side up. Reinstall the dustbin. Power this on if it's not powered on already. Okay, let's test it out and see if it still has an error. And it's working. So let me show you what it looks like when the LiDAR is spinning. So right now you're looking at the LiDAR spinning. I hope this video was helpful for any of you that might be having the same issue. And this repair is really easy for most people to do at home. I'll put the link for where you can buy that replacement motor in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.